Uh, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 11, lesson four. Now I tried to write up here um, how to get the area of these, but I think it's going to be easier if I do it this way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the square, the base. Okay, then we're going to find the area of, a, of one of the triangles. And on these, because they are rectangular pyramids, there are four of them because a rectangular rectangle has four sides. Okay, so we're going to find the area of one of the triangles, then we're going to multiply that by four. And when you add those two together, you're going to get the area of your rectangular pyramid. Okay, so let's do this together. Okay, so number two, in order to get the area of the rectangle, it's going to be 18 by 18. Okay, now. To get the pyramid, or to get the triangle, sorry, it's going to have a base of 18 and a height, sorry, of 8. And then we need to divide that by 2 because it's half of a square. That's the formula base times height divided by 2. Okay. Then we're going to multiply that by 4. Okay. But first, let's worry about this. Okay. Then we're going to add those two together. That's all it is, y'all. Okay, so let's start with 18 by 18. Okay, 8 times 8 is 64. Carry the 6. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. Okay, I'm going to tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 18 is 18. Okay, 4, 12, 3. 324. Okay, so our first one is 324. Okay, that's just for our square. Okay, now we're going to multiply 18 by 8, which kind of lucky for us winds up being that 144. Okay, we did the 8 and by the 18, so it's 144. Okay, now we're going to divide that by 2 and then we're going to multiply it by 4. Okay, well, Let's come on over here and we're going to do 144 divided by 2. Okay. 2 is not going to go into 1, but it'll go into 14 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Subtract, get 0. Bring down our 4. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, get 0. We're good. Okay. So now we have 72. Okay. But now we need to multiply that by four because there's four sides to this pyramid, okay? So four times two is eight, four times seven, 28. So we're gonna add 288, okay? Now four plus eight is 12, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11, carry the one. One plus three is four, plus two is six. 612 centimeters squared. Okay, we multiply centimeters by centimeters, that's centimeters squared. Okay, you know it's a lot of work, guys. We're just going to get through it. Okay, we're going to do the next one together too. Okay, so. Okay, I'm actually going to grab a full size piece of paper so that we can do this one together. Okay. So for the square, okay, it is 2.5 by 2.5, okay, for the triangle, for one triangle, okay, it is going to be 2.5 by 9, okay, then we're going to cut that in two. Then we're going to multiply that by four. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Okay. Five times five is 25. Carry the two. Five times two is 10 plus two more is 12. Okay. Tick, tuck, toe. Two times five is 10. Carry the one. Two times two is four plus one is five. Add them up. Five, two, six, go in one, two places, 6.25. So 
So our first number is 6.25, okay? We'll get there in just a minute, okay? All right, for our triangle, 9 times 5 is 45. There you are, 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 more is 22. We're going to go in one place for that decimal. So we're going to have... 22.5 inside of that block. I think we're going to wind up having to put a zero on it because two doesn't go into five evenly. Okay. So I'm going to lift up my decimal. Two goes into two once. That is two. Subtract. Get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two. I'm going to bring down my next two. Two still goes into two one time. One times two is still two. Subtract. Get zero. We are going to bring down our five. Two goes into five. Two times, two times two is four. Subtract, get one. And then we're gonna bring down that last zero, okay? Two goes into 10. Five times, five times two is 10. Subtract, get zero. So now we have 11.25. times four, okay? So, four times five, 20, carry our two. Four times two is eight, plus two more is 10, carry the one. Four times one is four, plus one is five, and four times one is four. We're gonna go in one, two places for the decimal, and we're gonna have 45.00. We're gonna add those two up, okay? All right, bring our decimal down, five, two, five plus six is 11, carry the one and one plus four is five, 51.25 yards. And we multiply yards by yards, so it's yards squared, okay? This is your work, guys, you've got to show your work. Okay, I'm going to try and center it there a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay, this is your work for number three. You have to stop. You have to show your work. So pause it, go back, do whatever you need to do to know how you got from point A to point B. Okay, all right, let's do another one. Actually, you guys are going to do number four. I'm going to go ahead and go down to number five where we will work together again to do that. Okay. It says, Cho is building a sand castle in the shape of a triangular pyramid. So now we have three sides, okay? Three sides. The area of the base is seven square feet. Each side of the base has a length of four and a height of two. What's the surface area? Okay, so the area of the base, so it's already found the square for us. So all we need to do is find the triangles and then to multiply that by three, the triangular pyramid, okay? So for a triangle, we find base of four, height of two, and then we're gonna divide that by two. So here's the nice thing about that times two divide two, those are opposites, so they cancel out, okay? So the area of each triangle is four, okay? Now, there are three of those. So 12, okay? Now, that's for the triangles, okay? All the triangles, okay? We have to add in the area for the square and we get 19. That one was actually pretty easy, okay? So 19, feet squared. We multiply feet by feet, we get feet squared. Okay? Write down your work, guys. Okay? All right. The top of a skyscraper, I'm just going to tear this little corner of that page off so that we can keep using the same paper. Okay. The top of a skyscraper is shaped like a square pyramid, so there's going to be four sides. Okay? Each side of the base has a length of 60 meters. And the height of each triangle is 20, okay? So the square is going to be 60 by 60, okay? 
the each triangle is going to be 60 by 20, and then we need to divide by 2. Okay? Now, then we need to multiply that by 4. Okay? I think I can't see that quite yet. But there are four of them because it is a square pyramid. Okay? So we have 60 by 20. Okay? Divide that by 2 to find a triangle, and then there's four triangles. Okay? So 60 by 60. I'm going to go 6 times 6 is 36. And there's 1, 2, 0. Okay? That made that one kind of easy. Okay? Now I'm going to go 2 times 6 is 12 and two zeros. Okay? Now we have to divide that by 2. Well, half of 12 is 6, and I still have those two zeros. Now I'm going kind of fast, guys. I'm trying to give you a little, little tips and tricks, okay? So now I've done the divide by 2. So now I just need to multiply that by 4. Well, 4 times 0 and 0, and then 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, so now I'm going to go 2,400 and 3,600, and I'm going to add those up. Okay. Oh. Oh, it just wants to know the laterals. Okay, so we actually don't need to know this at all which means we're left with that 2,400. Sorry, guys, I misread the question. Okay? It just wants to know the lateral areas. Well, those are the ones that are standing up. So that's going to be our 2,400. So 2, 4, 0, 0 meters, and we times meters by meters, so it's meters squared. Okay? So you guys can actually completely ignore the 3,600 part and just do the triangle part. Okay? So make sure that you guys stop, write down. Actually, you can ignore that altogether because that's your answer right there. Okay? All right. You guys really just have to focus on what's boxed in there. Okay? All right. We're going to go over to the back where hopefully I make less mistakes. And you guys are going to go ahead and do the lesson check. Read it carefully so that you don't do what I just did. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay? So we are going to look at this. And it wants to know what the linear equation is. So I'm going to do what is sometimes easier for me. And I'm going to do a chart for x and y. Okay? So my first point is negative 3, negative 2. Okay, my second point is 0, 1. Third point, 1, 2. Fourth point, 3, 4. Okay, so we're going to say y is equal to x, and what are we doing from x to get to y? Well, we're adding, to, to get from 0 to 1, you're adding 1. To get from 1 to 2, you're adding 1. To get from 3 to 4, you're adding 1. So, x plus 1. y equals x plus 1. Okay? Sometimes when it's in this fashion, it's really hard to see the pattern, okay? Or what the formula would be. So, by doing one of the boxes, you guys get to see how to get from there to there. Okay? All right. A regular octagon has sides measuring about four centimeters. If the octagon is divided into eight congruent triangles, each has a height of five centimeters, what is the area of the octagon? So, okay, so we're gonna find each triangle first and then we're gonna multiply that by eight. Okay, so four centimeters by five centimeters. We have to split that in two for the area of a triangle, okay? And then we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it by 8, okay? So 4 times 5 is 20. When we divide 20 by 2, we get 
10, well, 10 times 8 is 80. That's it. 80 centimeters, and we multiply centimeters by centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Okay? Pause. Write down your work. Okay? All right. It says, Carly draws quadrilateral JKLM with the vertices of those. What is the best way to classify the quadrilateral? Okay, so I'm going to grab one of my grids really fast. You guys should always have grid paper just to make it easy for you. Okay, not about making it so that the teacher can see it, but even if you make a tiny grid just so that you guys can do it, just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so we have negative three, three, negative one, two, three. Positive one, two, three. There's our first pop. Okay. Now we're going to go three, three. Now we're going to go two, negative one, one, two, negative one, and negative two, negative one. Okay. So when we make that shape, when we draw the lines and make that shape, what shape is that? Well, that would be a trapezoid. Okay, a rectangular prism has the dimensions eight feet by three feet by five feet. What is the surface area of the prism? Okay, so we have eight by five, by three. Okay. So I'm going to have, I'm going to just use the back of our page here. Okay. So we're going to have an eight by five. We're going to have an eight by three. And we're going to have a five by three. Okay. So those are our three combinations of how to do those numbers. Okay. And there's two of each one of those. Just like when you unfold a cereal box, there's two of the big, long, flat sides, there's two of the tall, skinny sides. And there's a top and a bottom. So there's two of each side. Okay. So 8 times 5 is 40 times 2 is 80. 8 times 3 is 24 times 2 is 48. 5 times 3 is 30. Or sorry, is 15 times 2 is 30. And now I'm going to add those up. 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Plus 3 more. 15, and it's being measured in feet, and we times feet by feet, so it's feet squared. All right, guys, make sure you show your work. Okay, all right, thanks for hanging out. For 11.4, come on back for 11.5, see you soon.